Hi, everyone. My name is Kendrick, and welcome to ENFP Mail. Today, I get to interview Orshi. Orshi, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Orshi, Hi. Uh, can you give us your full type? Yes, it's a double masculine S I F E, blast, play, consume, sleep. I'm and sleep last. Sleep last, yes. <laughs> and, uh, what did you think, and how did you feel when you got your results back? Okay, actually. <laughs> I did the I did the most play thing ever, and I went on a call with uh, with a tribe member to to see my type for the first time. So we went on call, and I opened the email, uh, and I don't know. I was I was excited, and she was excited too, and we were both excited. And yeah, that was a long night because I got the type and I went on a call, went on calls with three people and then I posted it in the group and I, <laughs> I talked to people in the comments all night <laughs> and I went to bed um, half past four and I woke up at six. So that was, <laughs> that was a long day. Yeah, that Monday was, was interesting. Uh, yeah, I was I was excited. I wasn't surprised uh, because I I kind of prepared for this type a little bit because um, I don't know if I can can I mention people by their names? Yeah. Uh, anyway, you can do whatever, uh, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. That's making things worse. Okay, so someone in the tribe got my type exactly right. So. Wow. I, I had the chance to prepare for it, you know? So like, uh, yeah, because I posted my videos uh, in the group and also in a separate typing group. So, so I got some guesses. I was prepared for kind of anything <laughs> at that point. So yeah, I was just, I was just excited and hyped. Um, I, I, you know, the first thing I noticed when you were uh, telling me the story of what happened after you got typed is the SI for sure. Like you were like, I, I, then I, you know, met this person and then I opened the email and then it, it was a long night. And then this one happened and I'm like, oh my God, that, that definitely like the S, the masculine SI is so obvious. It's like, it's like, I did this and then I did this and I did this, you know? Yeah, I didn't even give you the exact times because I remember those as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and oh, yeah. Then. You're also info dominant, so you're gonna be like obsessed with having the most accurate information. So, can you talk about the obsession with like information accuracy for you? Like, like what is it about the information that, makes, that you just need to be a hundred percent like accurate or as accurate as possible? I have no idea actually, because that that was the coin that I didn't see at all. The info dom versus uh, energy dom. I I really felt I was an energy dom, so so I I I really haven't processed that yet. But I think how, um, how I would describe it, but I don't know if that's just me being a single observer, but maybe that's, that's an infodom thing that when someone asks me a question or like someone asks a question in general, I, I feel the need to first give the accurate information so we get that out of the way. And then we get to have fun, you know, like play. And I don't know, just goof around yeah but but first i have to give the accurate information that's true but i i don't know if that's that's an info dumb thing yeah it's definitely an info dumb thing because the the the, the energy dumb they don't even want to give you the, info, the accurate information they just want to play you know and goof around so <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay um you are the same type or almost the same type as uh you, you know i don't know if you are in the class but uh you know they they just type um elizabeth olsen Yes, she's yeah. double feminine. Yeah, yeah, um, but the same type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I... <laughs> that's super cool. Eh? Like you, you're. I'm interviewing you right now, but then the, the exact time the class is like the similar type as you. You know. Yes, and also I was mentioned in that class. Uh, they mentioned mentioned me in the second video. Oh really? Uh, I yes. <laughs> all the all the people I talked to from the groups uh, messaged me. So like ah oh, you you. You were in the video. How do you feel? And I'm like, oh, I'm famous. You yeah, you're. <laughs> <laughs> That's so 
good. Oh, like avocado beauty? No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, they mentioned me in the class. Uh, but I also have a, an exact type twin, uh, Hannah Hart. They had, uh, they made a class about her too. Right, I, I saw that video. <laughs> yeah, she's very like, like, yeah. like, very playful, you know, like just like bouncing all over. Yeah. The place. Um, so I want to talk about you being an IJ because before we started the interview, you were talking about some, some really funny stuff to me. So I, I want to talk about that because I think it's, it's hilarious. So, you know, remember, like, I, I chatted with you a few days ago and, you know, I, I told you I've been to uh, Budapest before and I was telling you like, oh yeah, there was like an airplane show and everything. And like, I'm telling you about stuff in your city. And then you told me, you know what? Yeah, I know it exists, but I've never seen it. Like, I've lived here my whole life and I don't know anything about my city. And uh, you told me that <laughs> in Budapest, you only go to two places, which is your apartment and your work. So talk, talk about like being an IJ and just like, having like a, you know, like everything is narrowed down, like nothing new. <laughs> Uh, just talk about that. Like, what is your life like, you know, as an IJ? <laughs> no, <laughs> what happens is uh, I have my box and I can't uh, expand it for that for myself. So like I can't, uh, I don't know how to gather in you. So I just go to the same places again and again until someone else comes in and says, oh, hey, do you want to go to this other place that you haven't been before? And I'm like, oh my God, uh, adventure. Yes, of course I want to. And that's how I, that's how I gather new places and new experiences. But if, if there's not, no one around to, to you know, uh, throw new stuff in the head, in my head, uh, I, I just don't go anywhere. I, I wouldn't go normally. So like, yeah, my apartment and my workplace, that's, that's the two uh, places that I, I visit <laughs> naturally. No, I, that's not, not actually true because I also go to the post office sometimes because my work requires me to. <laughs> three, 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 three places. places. That... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so what's interesting about what you said to me was that when it comes to new places, you, you like to go to new places, but someone has to take you there. You cannot do it yourself. So you, yes. can, you can play to, go, to get there, but you, you wouldn't go there yourself. Um, I also like that, that you said that it was a physical place, like SI, you know, it's physical. So be, because yes. you are double activated NE, so you are actually open to new information. Uh, would you say that's accurate? Yes. Yeah. Like new information? Yeah. Is <laughs> yeah. That's accurate, yes. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, um, OP, objective yeah. personality, is new, and then you're here, and, and you know, most ISFJs are not here, so it's, it's like, you know, the fact that you found it, it's, it's like, oh, okay, Th that means you are using your NE, you are gathering new patterns, new concepts, and, it, and even though it's fourth, you are using it, you are using it. So talk about that, like, talk about you using that NE, yeah. like having double activated NE, fourth. It, it, yeah, it's an interesting thing because um, I gather in new concepts, but it's always uh, through someone else. So if someone is interested in something or like, like something and I ask about it and then I get interested too, because I want to connect with the person. And that's how, that's how I get into new things normally, uh, not usually. And uh, this, the same thing happened with OP. It was just a little bit different because I started watching the Frank James YouTube channel and I got obsessed with that. You know, like something new in my box, oh my God. And uh, I started also uh, listening to his podcast and Dave went on his podcast I, th podcast, I think. And that's how I got sucked into OP. And uh, yeah, so it was through someone else again because I don't know how to find new things for myself. I, I have no idea how. So yeah, I just ask other people what they like or what they're interested in. And that's what I do as well. But it's interesting that you found Frank James. Like no one told you about him, you, you found him. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was the YouTube uh, algorithm. Yeah. Because I started, uh, filling out these uh, 16 personality tests. 
and stuff like that. And then YouTube thought, oh, you might like this. And I was like, yes, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, that, that's how I found the channel. Yeah. And the, the 60 personality things I found, like the MBTI stuff, I found through, <clears throat> through a group where they did a poll. And they asked, what MBTI type are you? And I was like, I don't know. Let's find out. So, like, yeah, that was, again, through someone else. It, it, it is through someone else, but you clicked it. You chose to click that. You know, when the, when the YouTube algorithm, um, you know, gave you the suggestion, you clicked it. So you you wanted to click it. That means you wanted to gather it. It's not, it's not the tribe. It's you. So you, you do use your NE, you know? It's, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, I mean, the tribe started it, but you chose to do it because if you were like consumed, not you're like, no, yeah, no, you know, like, I don't, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> I don't do that. I, yeah, I like, think you, know, you, you actually, you, you do want to gather, yeah. um, which is interesting, uh, as, you know, cause you're, you're supposed to be like the worst at gathering, but then because you have double active in NE, you are doing some of it. So can you talk about that? So usually the, the IJ's biggest life problem is, you know, they don't know what's going to happen that's coming from the future. Like something's going to get them or they don't understand what's happening. But because you have double activated NE, do you, can you kind of guess? Are you okay with guessing what's going to happen in the future? Or are you okay with trying to understand something? Like trying to guess the understanding of something? Ooh, those are a lot of questions all at once. Okay, so first things first, I think... With, uh, with the lead blast, I don't think about the future. I am so busy right now that I, I just can't. So like, I, I don't know what's gonna happen uh, tomorrow, you know, and I don't plan for it at all. And my calendar looks like, like it's filling up into the future. Uh, I'm just, I'm going on a tangent. No, uh, okay, so like it's filling up, like uh, I have something to do. Okay, let's plan it for tomorrow. And then I have something else to do. Okay, do I have time tomorrow? No, then I'm going to plan it the day after tomorrow. And that, that's how my time fills up. And, uh, but I don't, I don't think about the future that much. Um, yeah, and also, the <clears throat> so what they mentioned in the class regarding my type and, and why they mentioned me, was because in my typing video, I there was some. Uh, I think it was it was raining, and my first thought was, and that I, I said it out loud, that uh, what if it, that's acid rain, and well, that's what you. if it's going to burn my skin? Yeah, that, you're, that the me, that's my You're the acid rain person. You're the acid rain person. Oh, okay. Because I watched that yesterday. I watched that uh, yesterday, and. I was like, what? Who's going to say acid rain? I was like, oh, it's you. You're the acid rain person. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me clarify because that, <laughs> that wasn't actually rain. Okay. So like someone um, was pouring some liquid from above. I think they were uh, emptying some bucket or something. And that's why I thought that it might be some kind of detergent or like some something like that. And I, for a split second, I was a little bit afraid that it might burn my skin. That was the thought going through my head. And um, yeah, I have I have those uh, kind of thoughts a lot. Uh, I, I realized when. Uh, when people started pointing it out, I thought that was a normal thing to do, you know, like scaring yourself um, with like impossible uh, images or like pictures yeah. so much that you literally have to run from yeah. the thing that you just imagined. <clears throat> and I do have that. I <laughs> um, like one that I find particularly funny was an inside joke with my ex. And because <laughs> he was pointing out that um, the uh, we were we were standing in a tram stop, and we were uh, waiting for the tram to come, and he pointed it out like the tram is coming, and I was like, "What? I don't see." It. And <laughs> I so I was I was looking up instead yeah. of uh, where I should have looked, right. and 
yeah, so we, we made the inside joke that I was uh, waiting for a flying tram to come. So like that, that was, that was a thing, a flying tram. And I also have these, these weirder ones where I, I imagine a dinosaur, like at night when I'm trying to sleep, I imagine a dinosaur just <laughs> looking for me. And so I have to hide under the blanket. And that's how I fall asleep at night. <laughs> it's terrifying. And oh, wait, what else? I, I, I was thinking about this a lot, um, but I don't remember any more examples. Wait. Yeah, there's, there's just a few of those. Or like someone standing uh, behind me. Oh my God, someone's standing behind me. And, and I have to look, you know? I, I know that there's no one there because this is my apartment, for example, but I just have to look. Yeah, I, I do imagine things like that, like impossible scenarios. That's how I, that's, that's more how I see the any demon. <clears throat> not really, I'm not really afraid of the chaos that much. Uh, so first thing is, I think it's interesting with the NE demon versus the, the extrovert sensing demon is that extrovert sensing is like real, real things like, you know, a car hitting you or, or an airplane crashing on you. But for you, it's like imagination land that is going to come and, and, and get you. Um, so that's the first thing I think is interesting. Second one is, I think my mother is also an ISFJ because I traveled to her to Mexico before and she does this all the time, but we were in Mexico and we're walking at night and she's like looking around nonstop. It's like, so, there's someone following us. Ooh. There's a, the, 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 the Mexican cartel is here. They're gonna kill us, the Mexican cartel. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's, that's just a normal no. person walking the street. They're not the cartel, you know? And, and it's like, oh my God. Oh my God. And, and yeah, but then now that you, you see your NE in the, in the fourth, imagine people who has it first, who lives like that all the time, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, like. Oh, wow. no. No, it's so bad. But at least you're not afraid of those things that you imagine. Uh, at least, are you? No. Like, is it scary for you? No. Okay. I, I, I look for that. Like, I, like, when I travel, I always look for places that looks like a fantasy world because I love that NE. I like, like, um, like I'm trying to think. Like, what, I like traveling. And I like traveling because I go yeah. to different lands and it looks, like, so different. Like, it's so unique and, like, like I like landscapes where it like looks like an alien planet. Like I love that, you know. Uh, I think maybe my NE is is like, like I want something that's not real, like like almost not real. But mm -hmm. I don't know. It's 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 weird. Um, so so far since we started this interview, Orshi, I think your SI is so powerful, and and uh, I, I want you to talk about your double masculine SF blast because you your FE is also masculine, so your double masculine SF blast, and it's first. Uh, so can you talk yeah. about like, do you tell people what to do and how to behave or how to dress? Like, is that something that you do to people? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes and no. I do, I try to limit it to the, uh, to when they ask me to do that for them, because otherwise I would just <clears throat> give like, I don't, uh, yeah, otherwise I just, uh, I would just order people around all day, you know, <laughs> like, uh, and just tell them what to do and tell them, yeah, how to dress, how to, I don't know, talk to other people. Like I call out people for being rude and just inappropriate. But it's also a lot like uh, giving advice and just trying to motivate people to do things for, uh, for themselves, I guess. That's what I do with my sisters, mostly. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I can see it. But it's also, it's just, um, it's angry sometimes. You know, the double masculine energy is just like, Ang anger when uh, when someone <clears throat> I don't I don't know I really don't know I'm trying to you know just like think of something but I have no idea how to how I use my my blast I think it's it's easier for me to point out when I'm doing it yeah then just you know try to think of an example because that's that's a really savior that's that's my first animal so I can't see it 
see myself doing it. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Well, I, I can tell you for the fact that you did it many times already before we started the interview. <laughs> you did it to me already a few times. Like when I was telling you earlier, yeah, what, what I was telling you earlier, yeah, don't worry about it. everything's okay. And you're like, don't say that. And I'm like, you know, it's like, you're, you're <laughs> controlling my behavior, you know, it's so I can, I can tell you for a fact that yes, you do it in an unconscious state. You're not aware of it, but you are doing it. But, but the thing is you're a double decider. So it's like, it's okay. You know, it's like, it's like funny. Yeah. You're balanced with that. Yeah. Um, and you also high play. So would you say that you, when you do it, it's not because you, are trying to control people it's just it's just like you're you're conscious of you know the the, the vibe with the tribe you know the, the fun so if you know if you keep doing it it's gonna ruin that that, that fun vibe so you don't do it because you do have the play would you say that's what what you're doing yeah yes yes absolutely that that's such a great way to put it yeah yeah i just want to i want to keep the play going so that's that's why i blast sometimes to to keep people in line so that we can uh, play the back and forth game yeah. more freely. Because you know that, <laughs> oh my God, I just said it. Control gives freedom, okay? It's freeing, being, <laughs> having more control. <laughs> oh my God. Well, well, freedom to play in your case. <laughs> and, uh, freedom to play. Yeah. But it's, yeah. And uh, yes. And I, I like how you also said that you use it to give advice to people because it is blast. And so because you're playing blast, that once you get the and you're also DE, right? So you, you are tribe above self. So when the tribe gives you permission, then you're more than happy to give them as much advice as possible about the SF. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And just, you know, tell them, give them uh, not really instructions, but like directions on what they should do to um, better take care of themselves and their emotional state and just, you know, just be happier. I just, I, I talked to a guy who, and I'm just, keep, I, keep, I keep bringing up people. I, just, I need more people in this conversation. Okay, so I talked to a guy who, who is also sleepless and he, he was putting off, putting in his uh, his contact lenses for I don't know weeks or months, I guess. And so we were on a call, and I told him, "You should put it in uh, put in the lenses like right now. I'm going to watch you. Just put them in, because you're going to forget, and you're going to keep uh, putting it off. That that's how my my blast is. <laughs> Just." yeah like we need to do this right now oh my god that that's also a thing like <laughs> my sister keeps calling me out because it feels like at least to her you know it feels like to everyone that i'm always just in a hurry you know like i have to keep moving because of the double masculine uh kinesthetic energy and also because of the blast play right <laughs> because i just want to get stuff done i need to i need to stay in motion and that's that's causing some problems because I jump into things um, like first of all head first, but also way too fast, and I just start all the projects and then I'm overwhelmed and it's just everything needs to get done. Needs to I need to get everything done as quickly as possible because that's that's what feels good. I think that's that's uh, yeah. And then I also uh, involve people in the getting getting it done uh, part. But I just, yeah, I just tell them what to do so we can, you know, move on. I, 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 okay, so, so first, 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 uh, the first thing I noticed was that you were out of breath uh, when you said that, which is like a sign of, play, of <laughs> sleep loss. You were like, <sighs> no. <laughs> and, 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 and then, and second, second, I know, I'm just making fun of you. It's but just, just having, we're just, oh, no, it's fine. But, uh, so you, funny. Uh, and the second is, I, I 100% relate to you when you said about the blast play, because I'm like you, I'm always in a hurry. I do get in trouble like you do, because like people are like, why you stop? Why do you keep rushing? Just like slow down, you know? And then I'm like, okay, okay. No, I'm not rushing. This is just my pace. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was, that was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, but, but you, you're, you're not a true blaster though, because you have double activated no. play. Play is your, your happy place is play. Uh, so talk about your, your NF play, your play is NF, right? So it's a lot of imagination. So when you play with people, do you like to make up like, like, like fancy stories? That's like very funny and very fun. Is that something that you enjoy doing with people? Uh, yes but because i'm si i'm not really great at it so like i can't ping of other people's stories so if, if they start um like this yeah a funny story then i can kind of build on that but my connections are not as um not as random or like out of uh you know not as random as as in any person's would be so yeah but i do i do like doing that but also nf play i think it's just um or maybe that's the sf i don't know but i just like hanging around with people you know just like not not really having uh, a goal specifically or like a, a things to solve i just like talking to people that's that's really it. like you tell a funny story i laugh and then i tell something i say something funny and then you laugh and that's 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 all <laughs> that's all <clears throat> um, your because your play is NF. Um, NF is correlated with um, meaning and purpose. So when when you meet people, are you curious to ask them like what their goal in life is, or their purpose, or what they're up to? You know, projects. You know, are you curious at like what people are working on when you talk to them usually, or not really? <laughs> I mean, I'm curious about anything they have to say. Okay. So like whatever they want to share, I'm I'm willing to listen. I'm more than happy to listen. Uh, but <clears throat> I don't know if I ask any specific questions. It's really uh I I don't know. Or hold on. What, what, what if what if it's okay. uh like group purpose? Like do you like to discuss like hey, what are we what's our goal here? Like what what are we doing together, you know? Like, do you like to do that? Yeah. It's play, right? So it's like not not so much. Uh, no, I'm I'm really. <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but I'm a shy and reserved person. Okay, yeah. I in a group setting at least. <laughs> okay, no, don't laugh. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not blasting in a group setting. Uh, usually, wait. Maybe that's because I'm not the one in control. Because then, yeah, in most situations, I just, yeah, but, yeah, when I'm not in control, I'm, I'm not that uh, eager to engage in play. So that's when I'm, I'm a little bit more on the quiet side and just not talking at all. That's, yeah, that's, that's a weird thing to see for other people, especially those who know me um know me personally and because then uh, yeah with the people i like at so my my tribe and also in situations when i'm i'm the one um directing or like i don't want to say controlling because i just keep saying that word but like <clears throat> yeah with people i with my tribe and the situations when i feel in charge then I'm extroverted and then I'm blast playing and then I'm then I feel great but then in uh, larger groups I when I'm I'm not really in control and I'm also a little bit um, reluctant to take control because I I tend to over control sometimes and because it's masculine I think and uh, I don't want to be seen as someone who is that not fun, you know, <laughs> bringing the mood down with all the control. So, yeah, I just let other people talk. That's that's fine with me. I think Dave and Shan said that a lot of blast play or play blast people, even though we are crackheads, that when we go to a new situation and there's a new group, we are actually introverted because we're looking around to see like where our place is in the tribe first before we can go crazy. But, but when we are with our close friends and family, then we are like crackhead 100%. But when it's a new situation, yeah. when it's a new situation, you're kind of like worried. You're kind of like, uh, oh, okay, uh, let's, let's, let's see first before, before, before <laughs> it's sure that everything's okay. So I'll, 
you know it's so you're gonna need to consume first because yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I met Dave and Shannon in person before they did a meetup in Seattle and um, in the US and I, I, I live in Canada but it's only a three hour drive for me so I, I met up with them mm-hmm. and uh, I noticed that when I went there I was really quiet at first even though I'm play blast and I noticed that the people who were typed as um, consume play blast or sleep play blast um, they they were the one that is like freaking crack it to the max because they're self above tribe right so they don't care to get the tribe permission they just like ah I'm just gonna go crazy and just talk like a like a machine gun you know so um, you know there's there was a guy who was an INTJ if he's watching this he'll know but he he's consumed last so he probably won't but he, so he sleep blast play <laughs> uh, yeah he sleep blast play double masculine INTJ uh, as I'm saying this everyone probably knows who he is because he's he's always in the Facebook group. Uh, and yeah, he was just like a machine gun. He went up to me, and the first thing he said to me is like, "Hey, man, do you want to listen to me rap?" And I'm like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> and like, you know, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, it's 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 interesting when you go to those meetups, you know. Uh, and then another, there was like, there was a girl there who was just like, like she's consumed play blast ENFP, and she was just like, she she was more extroverted than me, and I was supposed to be the most extroverted type, right? And uh, yes. And like a lot of people who met her would say, oh my God, she's definitely the most extroverted. But then her official typing is consume, play, blast, sleep, right? So it's not, she's consumed yeah. first. But she was just like, ah, oh, machine gun, you know? So um, yeah. so I think, I Ooh, think. That's so interesting. Yeah, so I think if you're self above tribe and then you're playing blast, you're more extroverted than the play blast. Until later, on, at first, later on, what like that we'll get our spotlight once the tribe once we feel comfortable with the tribe, then we're like, yeah, now it's our time, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, I like how you said that. You're like, yeah. <laughs> because I got so excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you're, you're, um, you're, you're, you're double masculine. So you're kinesthetic and audio. So talk about kinesthetic first. So are you good at sports or exercising or doing things with your hand? <clears throat> Is that something that you naturally can learn pretty quickly? Yes, um, I think first of all, I'm I'm really strong for for someone who doesn't work out at all, and I, I've always been the strongest of my of my age group uh, growing up, um, and it's it's like I can't maybe there's a sleep loss, but I can't can't not move at at least uh, in 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 any way so like if it's just you know like uh, listening to music and then just kind of moving my body or like playing with something with my hand or um yeah I just have to stay in motion that's what it feels like because when I stop it just feels uncomfortable not not moving at all and um kinesthetic um yes I just yeah what was the question like you gave so, such great examples like exercise yeah oh muscle memory that's that's what i'm i keep mentioning and i'm i'm really proud of that because that's something that helps me a lot at work for example and um, but it's all it's also it's a, it's a weird thing so like when i it's i call it teaching my body to do a task so that I don't have to pay attention anymore, like conscious and conscious attention. And so it's like I have these key bindings and I can type without looking. It's not, it's not accurate, but I can. And 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 stuff like that. When I and when I don't actually have to be in my body and pay attention, I can just do a task without looking. That's basically it. If that makes any sense. What, what about the sense? Audit, what about the auditory side? Like, are you good with music and sounds? And is that something that you have a good ear for? I'm not great, <laughs> but uh, but I love I love listening to music, and I I always have something playing, at least in the background. Uh, but I have I have a really good quality headphones because because I am always listening to some kind of music because it makes me feel things, you know, it makes me feel excited and it makes me feel hyped. 
and it gives me a uh, an energy burst or like an energy shot or I don't know. So it's, it keeps me it keeps me moving. That's that's what I use music for. And yeah, I don't know. I played instruments uh, in high school. I played the clarinet and then I also played the piano for a year. Yeah. So I, I played them, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't something I was, I was particularly, partic I can't pronounce this word. I was, I, that wasn't something that I was really good at. I could, yeah, that was, that was an interesting thing actually, because I can't, I couldn't uh, read the sheets uh, without, without listening to the melody first. So at first I had to uh, hear the piece, the whole piece, and then I could read the sheets. Because I couldn't, uh, it, I, I couldn't hear it in my head, so I can't, couldn't play it. I don't know. <clears throat> that could be an audio thing. Maybe you would have liked playing the drums because you're double masculine, so you're like, bah, 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 you know, like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably, after you do that, I'm pretty sure you'll feel so calm. You're like, oh yeah, I feel good. Nah, I can, I can, nah, I can like, yeah, you know, like before, before you go to work. I'm hitting things. I'm hitting things. I feel so great. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe after, after you get off work, you know, you're like a stressful day at work and like, you know, it's, you, you get pissed off or angry and then you go home, you're like, ah, and then after you're like, oh, okay, yeah, good. Relax. You know, it's like, <laughs> let's go have dinner now. Ah, you know, have something. <laughs> 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 now I just take long walks, yeah, uh, really fast paced walks, and then music also. Oh, okay. So that you helps are doing me calm down. So kinesthetic, moving, and then music, auditory, and then okay, yeah. Um, your consume is NT. Um, so how and your NT is double feminine. So that's interesting. Uh, how do you like so? Do you like to consume recents then, or uh, you know what what kind of stuff are you consuming with that NT consume? It's third, so you have access to it. I don't know. That's the thing. I have no idea. <sighs> okay, um... Can you make a guess, like an NE guess? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no uh, guess. Okay. okay wait. <laughs> No, we don't talk about the confume. Uh, I don't know. I really, I, I have no idea. Oh, actually, you know what? I watched the uh, Katie Barnes class. Is that her name? Katie you know, Barnes. the lady who Katie? played in the... Yes! <laughs> I, I almost got it right. Yeah, close. <laughs> close. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't close. Okay, so uh, yeah, I watched her class, I think, and um, Dimension mentioned something that I really uh, resonated with or related to is that she she had uh, a reoccurring problem that she didn't know what was going to happen to her in a situation, and so like I feel like that a lot. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even think about it. And then when something happens that surprises me, then I'm just, I just freak out. So, uh, yeah, that, that happens. And I don't, I don't know. I really don't know about my consume. Maybe it's just gathering new concepts, right? Just like going off, going based on the definition, gathering concepts for, for, for the self. So like the things I'm interested in maybe, like I, I went on this really long journey of uh, reducing my carbon footprint and that included uh, going zero, wa zero waste for a period of time and minimalism. And then also uh, I went vegan a few years ago. And so all that required me to gather in those concepts, but it was all for the blast. 
that that's really how I see it. So like I can gather and I do gather sometimes, I guess, but it's all for what action could I, can I take? Can, can't speak. What action can I take um, using this information? That, that's what I use it for, the consume. Yeah, I, I can see that you're using it actually. I think it's hard for you to see it because it's double feminine, but I from from my perspective, yeah. I can see you using it actually. Like you're learning about OP. Really? Yeah, because you're learning about OP, for example. So you're consuming the understanding of human psychology and personality, right? And you know, mm. and you find it interesting. So it's it's something that you know you're 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 doing it with a try, but you're also doing it for yourself too, because you you think it's fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um <clears throat> Yeah, but my understandings came only when I got my type. So that's that's when everything started to shift into place. Because before that, I only understood the the, the very basics, and I didn't really know how to connect the things I learned to the things I observed. If that makes if that's a, that doesn't make really any sense. So like what I'm saying is. I know uh, how, like, because I have SI, I kind of th- uh, track my behavior and track my habits and f- how my body feels and all that. And I, and I, I had that, that, that experience. And then I had OP with uh, all these definitions and all the theory and the technical stuff, but I couldn't connect the two. So like, I didn't have, uh, sensory, uh, um, a sensory connection, I guess. So like I had to have something to ground the whole thing and just, I don't know how to, how to explain this, but yeah, getting my type really helped me understand the system more because I had my experience and I could link it, link that to the OP stuff. Yeah. I, I, I think I think it's super hard for you because your fourth function is feminine. It's feminine, right? So it's 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 like really hard. Um like I have feminine N E and masculine S I, like you do. But uh because, yeah. because my S I is masculine, even though it's fourth, I can see it and I can use it. Um I, I notice with my feminine and E, I, I, I can like connect things really quickly, but I will forget because it's feminine, which is a big problem. The memory with the patterns and concept is like, it flies away quickly. So I, I see myself yeah. taking a pen and w- right when I have it in my head, I'm like, I need to write it down because it's going to fly away. So I like write it down <laughs> right away. It, it, it's going to fly away. I have like lots of notebooks. I take lots of notes because I'm like, it's going to fly away with that feminine and E and I have it first. My N E is first already. So I can't imagine how hard it is for you when it's fourth because mine, I know mine will fly away. I can see it. I can see the connection, but it will fly away. So for you, yeah, like by the time it came to your head, it probably already flew away. And it's like, oh my God, you didn't even have time to write, write it down. You know, it's like it fly away already, you know? Cause it's- <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, yeah, it doesn't really stick uh, the things I learned. So I have to... Uh, re- I have to like watch videos multiple times uh, through time. So like I watch it now and I watch it two months from now and then six months from now because I forget and because I don't really pay attention to be, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, I, I consume while working. So I, I'm doing my job with my kinesthetic hands and then on the side, there are uh, OP videos and other stuff playing. And I kind of watch, but I kind of kind of don't. So like that's that's how I that's how I learned the system. That's why it took so long because I was <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. That that happens a lot. Um yeah. <clears throat> because after work, so that's I uh, that's structured time. The, uh, the time I spend at work. And that's when I can really do stuff for myself, really, because I, I just have to be there. And that's, that's an easy thing for me to do, to 
just know my job and do my job. And I have enough energy and time kind of to do stuff for myself while I'm at work. Because uh, as soon as I leave and I take care of the stuff that I have to take care of, I just don't do anything else for myself. That, that's it. I just, I just pass the time and hope that the outside world calls me for something <laughs> and then I can, you know, come alive again. Yeah. I, I think consuming for you will still be challenging, even though it's not fourth. It's good that's not fourth. It's third. It's third so it's better than you know yeah. the the other you know ISFJs that have it fourth. But because your introvert thinking is third and your extroverted intuition mm-hmm. is fourth, it's their third and fourth function, right? So it's gonna be, you, you know, Dave and Shan always say that the order of your functions is still matter. So your SI first, FE yeah. second, TI third and FE fourth, right? So it's your third and fourth function that you're using. So even though it's third, it's still going to be very challenging for you because it's so low in the function stack. Like um, I'm play blast consume sleep. So I'm, I'm like very similar to you, right? But my consume yeah. is my first and second. It's NE and um, FI. It's my first two. So it's not going to be the hardest thing for me because it's my first two function. Uh, my blast, I find is actually harder than my consume because it's my third and fourth, like kind of like your consume, right? You know, so I have to blast and I'm like, oh my God, it's so annoying to do it. But I I, I can do it, but it's annoying because uh, it's still third and fourth, yeah. right? So I, I can I can really yeah. do it from the blasting standpoint. For you, the blast is easier, but the consume is a little bit harder. Um, yeah. Let's the last animal, sleep. Your sleep blast, it's ST. Uh, so I'll ask you a few. Yes. Um, so um, we, we're going to wrap up the interview in about uh, five or six minutes. So I'll just ask you a few quick questions here and we'll wrap it up, okay? So for for the ST uh, for the ST sleep, um, I noticed that people that have it um, in a savior state, or not even a savior state, but you know in their fun- in, in the first three, um, they tend to be really like like how they th- how they do things is very personal. Like like they don't want to ask for help. Like they want to do things their way. Um, but you have you have your fourth. So how how does yours? work because it's going to be a little bit different like are you still like like for example i have a coworker, <clears throat> and when i tell her i was like okay uh, let's do this this way she's like no 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 i'll do it like this my way my way i'll do it my way you know and then yeah i also notice a lot of people with st sleep they don't want to ask for help they're like no 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 i, I gotta do it my way i don't need someone's help yeah so but you have it fourth so it's like do you do you care about ask about doing it your way or you're okay with asking for help because you do a play second so you know no, I'm not okay with asking for help. I need to do it my way and I also need to do it alone. And I like, yeah, just like doing stuff my way. And when I, even when I ask for help, I need very specific help. So like I will ask very specific questions so that you can fill in uh, the voids that I have. But if you give more information that I need or like that I want, then I'm going to be mad at you and I'm going to blast at you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's it. And also how I see the sleep last is really just not not respecting my own body and my own needs, my physical needs. Like I don't really pay that close attention to what I eat and when I eat and how much I sleep and you know stuff stuff like that <laughs> I just don't don't care uh yeah I just don't take care of my body there was an ENT oh, that I interviewed that have ST sleep in a savior state and the first thing that he said to me was that I want a body that works so everything he does in life is to make sure that the body works perfect like he exercises he eats healthy he gets enough sleep reduce stress yeah. so that his body works like a perfect machine, you know? I know. Uh, so I guess that's yeah. the, the issue with the sleep blast for you is like, you don't do all that too. That's, that, that's not what I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's yeah. something I'm not doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, but you know, with the blast play, I can just power through it. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, 
I don't, I, I notice that my body is exhausted and that I'm hungry and I, and I, and I haven't slept really. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty also. And then I need to, you know, take a nap or something. I can't, yeah. can't actually take naps, but like, I, I'm aware, but I just don't care. Yeah. I just, I just ignore it. Okay. So I'm going to use but... my, my, using my NE here now. So I, the problem I see with the with that oh, looking, no. looking in the future is that you're gonna get chaos uh, for not taking no, I'm, body. no I'm going to stop you right there. Let's not look into the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, not think about that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. But please continue. Yeah, okay. no, it's, it's all good. It's okay. It's it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's it's all good. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, look, I'm, no, I'm just saying because because I think with the play blast, I, I'm guilt. I'm I'm the same problem as you because I have the sleep blast, right? So for you, it's a body that yeah. works. For me, it's like a body that, like, I guess I feel I feel fine. Like I feel I should feel good, but instead of feeling tired all the time, so like, I think when you're young, you can blast play everything. It's okay. As a matter of fact, you should. <laughs> I, in my opinion. Until you turn 35, you should be going blast play, in my opinion, you know. Uh, Are you giving me a, a permission? I like that. that. <laughs> that that's, I like my, that a lot. This is my opinion. It's just like, <laughs> before 35, you should definitely blast play or play blast because you have a lot of energy. When you're young, you can get away with yeah. a lot of bullshit and you're not going to die. Like, you're going to be okay. But after 35, no, you have to go the opposite way. You have to be like, you know, diet has to be good. Uh, exercise has to be there. Uh, sleep has to be there. Uh, I'm guilty of this. I'm not even like there. Like my exercise is good, but my diet is not. I, I'm working on it though. It's getting better. And uh, my sleep, yeah. I'm working on it too. So it's it's not perfect. <laughs> you know, I have the same problem as yeah. you, but it's it's working on it. But uh, I, at least I have one factor. I get the exercise. So it's, that's one. One out of four yeah. is, is there. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay. Um, last two questions and then we'll finish up the interview. Uh, first one is uh, feminine TI. So how do you use your, your, T, your feminine TI? How does, how does, how does, what, what's going on? What's happening there with feminine TI? I, I don't use it at all. And please don't ask about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I have, um, it's like I have uh, projects going on in my life that I, I, I'm trying to do, but I just don't tell uh, anyone about them. I just do the thing and then I deal with the tribe's reactions later because I don't want to reveal my TI and I don't want to explain it and I don't want to argue about it because it's feminine and it's a demon. And yeah. So it's not, not really sensitive? Do... That the feminine TI is very sensitive? It... Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, last question is your um, masculine FE. Um, so do you uh, like to like see what the tribe's value is and then try to enforce the tribe values to your friends? So it's like, okay, this is, this is what like, you know, like for example, we are Hungarians. We like this. We hate, like, I'm, I'm not going to mention it, but you know, before we talked about in the, when I first talked to you, you said that we're Hungarians. We hate these people. I'm not going to say the people, but like, you know, but like, you know, <laughs> just in case there's one of those people watching, but like, you know, so do you have that like tribe value kind of thing, you know, that you follow and then you No. Ask, no. Okay. No, no, I don't experience that, but I do experience um, handling the tribe's emotions and calling them out on their emotions. I, I actually talk, uh, talked about this with a few people that I, I'm aware when uh, when there's an emotion or like some some unsaid thing in the room it, just, then, and that just affects me and i i don't i don't like being affected by those emotions so what i do is i absorb them and then i express them and i push them i push them on the tribe and how i do that is um, either by by uh, blasting at them and just saying things out loud like you are angry, like calm the fuck down, you know, yeah. or, or I just start crying because that's, that's how I deal with frustration sometimes. And, um, can I give you a quick example of how much time do we have? Uh, you can give it. Okay. Example. Don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, um, 
um, my sister had a birthday party and my other sister and one of the guests uh, grew really close to each other. And uh, they, when they were saying goodbye, none of them said anything about how much they, uh, how much they are going to miss each other and how sad they are that they are saying goodbye to each other and they weren't, weren't crying or anything. They were, just, they were just completely emotionless. I think they are both savior teeth. And uh, I was just like, you know what? You're not crying, so I'm going to cry, but these aren't my tears. These are your tears. This, this is you crying through my body. Yeah. Oh my God, that's, that's, that's so how. interesting. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so, that's kind of cool though, because like you have to feel for them because they don't want to feel. It's like, it's weird, you know, like. No, I don't feel it. I just express it. That's, no, no, I, that's I, I, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, you have to express it for them because they, they don't want to express it. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. That's yeah. so, that, you know, F, the more I learn about extrovert feeling, the more interesting it is. Like there, it has, it's like such an interesting uh, function because it's not your feelings, yeah. theirs, but you're expressing it for them. It's, that's so interesting. Yeah. That's, it's happening that way, you know? Yeah, I know. I don't know it's, yeah. All right. Um, so Orshi, thanks for uh, coming out and doing this interview. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks you know, for inviting me. Yeah, this no, was really I'm, fun. Yeah, happy to uh, talk to you, especially about uh, you know, learn more about your type. Your type is not very common, so it's it's good, good to learn more about it. Uh, yeah. All right, so take care, have a good night, and uh, we'll see you around the group. Okay, good night. Take care. Bye.